Hi, here at Sundial we've got five predictions for back pain care over the next decade. One is the introduction of artificial discs, replacing discs with uh, man-made ones. And it's been done successfully in goats and mice, and we think that over the next decade, the researchers should be able to get that done in humans. That will transform the lives of people with osteoarthritis of the spine. This decade should also see more chiropractors employed by the NHS. We know that physiotherapy departments and GPs are just not coping with the level of back pain that's coming their way. And they're not, a lot of them are just not skilled enough at treating it in the first place. So chiropractors and osteopaths as frontline practitioners in hospitals, in GPs and community practices is going to really help. It's been done successfully in other countries, Canada, Switzerland, Denmark, and it's been done in the UK with dentists and podiatrists. Thank goodness they don't call themselves chiropodists anymore because quite frankly that was confusing us all. The other thing on the back of that is an improved uh, ability to diagnose back pain. Most GPs will tell you, if you go to them with a backache, that it's non-specific back pain. That's a non-diagnosis. It means the, ident the, the uh, true cause of it has not been identified. Having chiropractors and others involved in that sort of process will improve the diagnosis and improve the outcomes as the treatment is targeted to the right area. Also, that should mean a reduction in the number of opioid painkillers uh, given to people with back pain. Not only are they ineffective, but they're also dangerous. Uh, there are a number of deaths each year, particularly in the United States, with over 77,000 deaths recorded uh, in a year, which is astonishing. It's not as bad in this country, but still, drugs like tramadol kill 200 people or more each year in the UK. Finally, we hope the gym and fitness industry uh, improve their act and uh, we expect that as uh, research hits their courses and training that they stop prescribing things like uh, deadlifts and leg press machines and bending over and touching your toes, which quite frankly doesn't stretch your back. All it does is stress your discs. So those are our predictions for uh, 2020 and the coming decade. Uh, Happy New Year.